But anyway, got everything but Tiv and paper towels. Um, it's not a real toolbox, I understand that. But um, don't have that option rigidity uh, to make sure that the is it actually folds up out of the way. So if you take everything, a lot more. And to, to redeploy it, simply grab it, lift up there, pull it. Uh, when the weight's evenly distributed, so you like that's what pretty. you saw. Give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Until then, take care. Hey guys, Major Scott here with the Major Reviews It, your one-stop review channel for interesting cars, electronics, and anything in between. I'm super pumped today because my tonneau cover came in for the truck. I also got a back box folding toolbox for the GMC. I got both of these from the Tonal Factory Outlet, and although they're not a sponsor of the channel yet, uh, and I didn't get anything free from them, I did get a great price. So check them out if you're in the market for a tonneau cover or any type of accessories for your truck. They treated me well, and I will tell you one thing, nobody beat their price, hands down. So give them a call. I'll put a link down in the comments section. Today we're gonna do an unboxing and an abbreviated install because quite frankly, there's not much to it. And then we'll go ahead and do initial impressions of the tonneau cover and the back box. I'm super pumped, so let's get this thing on the truck. All right guys, as I said in the intro, I went ahead and purchased the Backflip MX-4 folding tonneau cover and also the Back Industries uh, back box, which is for use on that back industries a rail so i needed some extra space to store stuff in the bed so i'm anxious to get that uh, toolbox and see how it performs um, i did buy this tonneau cover through the um, tonneau factory outlet they gave me the best price actually they beat everybody by far so i uh, really appreciated that i don't get anything from them they didn't mail me this cover at a discount but uh, i thought i would throw them a bone if you're looking for any type of accessory for your truck they seem to be the best even with military discounts but if you do order uh, from them, I recommend giving them a call because they can provide some additional discounts on uh, versus online. So everything came shipped pretty quick, actually, um, in good shape. The box was opened on the end, but it didn't appear that anything was disturbed. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the bands and open it up and see what it looks like. All right, the tonneau cover after cutting the bands uh, appears to be well protected and packed pretty pretty good has a piece of looks like a foam oh man this is really heavily heavily packed um looks like a rail there uh maybe a rail on the other side um, but overall man really good packaging um i don't appear i don't expect to have any damage uh, the tonneau cover itself, about 60 pounds or so, I would say. But uh, so far, the packing um, really looks good. So we'll continue on and get everything uh, unloaded and laid out on the bed. Okay, so I opened up the box, pretty simple. Got a couple rails on each side, and then you have a weather stripping. There's the clamps that secure the rails to the side of the bed. You have some thumb screws here and some uh, clips that go on the tonneau cover and then some various uh, pieces of weather stripping and drain tubes. That is it, other than this uh, piece of foam that is GM specific. This goes on the back of the back flip so when it's folded up, um, you can uh, it won't damage the window when it rests against that back window now i am not going to do a full install the uh install you can be found on the back industries channel they have a very good video it's real simple so i'll go maybe halfway i'll tune back in and show you where i'm at and then we'll go ahead and do a function test when everything is done and complete 
All right, as I said earlier, pretty simple, straightforward install for the rails. Um, you wanna make sure that this tab, the silver tab is on the inside of the truck. So there's only one way you can install it. Uh, the left is the left and the right is the right. So you don't have to worry about messing those up. It does fit on a groove uh, on the top. So basically you take the rail it will fit on this inner channel, the groove there, and you let it ride that groove and then slide it all the way forward. All right, so that's the simplest uh, way to do it. Now, it would make it easier if you did have an extra set of hands, but I don't, so I'm gonna do it solo. These are the grips, these are the clamps that you do it as a 9 16 um, nut on the end and you can see that they do have teeth but the easiest and the best way to do it is to if you're by yourself secure it with a clamp and then do the middle first and then I'll finish up on each end get both of them there and then we'll put the tonneau cover up top and start uh, installing it up there okay as you can see we're moving along pretty rapidly we have the uh, tonneau cover on the rails it's not secured yet uh, i do have it to where it is up against the bulkhead now i'm going to be installing this uh, clamp um, seat into the area where you have two pre-drilled holes basically you're going to take these barrel posts these threaded barrel posts put them through the bottom side and then screw it in the top with a phillips head screwdriver super easy uh this has been a real easy install i can't see this thing taking more than 30 minutes um, if you went and uh did it pretty quickly so anyway we're going to go ahead and finish up these other loose ends and then i'll be back all right, so we've gotten both clips installed at the front of the tunnel cover. Now you'll see there is another pre-drilled hole, and that is to connect the tunnel cover to the rail on that stainless steel uh, or aluminum uh, opening. So in order to do this, you have this flat type bolt um, that'll go through the uh, pre-drilled hole and it will push down there uh, it's very important that you put a washer on top and then basically it'll go through with a rubber washer on top followed by another rubber washer this flat steel washer a lock washer and then a thumb nut and that is how it will be sandwiched in and secured to the rail Okay, so the tunnel cover is installed. Really, really easy. Um, the last step I need to do is install a drain tube. And there is a drain tube down here. Um, there's, a, there's an opening. I pulled this cap out. And if you see underneath there, there is a little nipple that this tubing um, comes into and it attaches to there and then you route it through there it channels the water through here and it'll drain it away from the bed so we'll see how well that works um, i'm not going to just run it through and leave that hole open i'm going to go ahead and drill a half inch hole through this plastic cover so it looks looks a little cleaner so stand by and i'll be right back all right, so we're back. I went ahead and drilled a hole in that grommet and went ahead and ran that tubing up into that drain channel. So I think that's a pretty, pretty uh, clean install. The one thing you probably don't wanna do is uh, make an S trap or a P trap in that line. Make sure it's pretty much a straight drain and that way it won't trap any water in there and it'll drain out. So we'll go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so I got both drain tubes installed and that is going to do it 
for the installation of this backflip MX-4. Uh, real easy job. Um, so far, I think it fits pretty good. Initial uh, impressions are favorable. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put it down. I'll show you how it fits. Um, all the seals look pretty heavy duty. I mean, it wasn't a cheap cover, that's for sure. So uh, I expect I expect to get you know a lot for my money. But basically, this just folds down. Um, the last thing that we needed to do was, and these are GMC specific, each one of your trucks will have a different application, but they send these foam pads that will allow the backflip to rest against your window or your glass without doing any damage. And there was three of them. Again, GMC and probably uh, Chevrolet Silverado uh, specific. They did come with some uh, pieces of weather stripping for other types of vehicles, probably F-150s and Rams. But again, uh, that wasn't the case for this. So you see each one of these um, clips, these locks, they're released with this little drawstring here and they lock into the bed rail. So you can you can see there i don't know and they latch in and they can't come out so you'll go ahead and just continue flipping it back until it rests on the back rail so overall i think it really looks nice it makes a clean um Nice firm install. I don't like anything flapping around, so I think this would be a good solution for me. Give me that all weather uh, capability to, to haul things in the bed of the truck in inclement weather. So let's get that back box to toolbox installed. All right, opening up this back box. This is the back box two uh, foldable toolbox that works with the backflip uh, rail assembly. So open it up. Uh, it's packed pretty well. Doesn't look like um, it's uh, damaged in any way. So again, the guys from the uh, factory Tona or Tano outlet, uh, give them a, a call if you need any type of accessories. Really good price on this um, equipment. The best price I could have received. Uh, I shopped around a long time and. Once again, they uh, they beat everybody hands down, even with the other um, companies with their military discount. So if you do want a tonneau cover and any type of accessory, give them a call. Uh, who knows? They might be able to help you out. But uh, good people to deal with. And they were very fast shipping. Uh, the estimated time, I think, was 7 to 10 days. I think I got it in 4 days. And best of all, no sales tax if you live outside of Arizona. So great, uh, great company to deal with. Um, I'll put a link in the video as well. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't get any uh, any freebies from them. Uh, I just think that uh, it's good to give people credit where credit is due. And they are definitely um, they definitely did a, a good job. So let's get this thing uh, let's get it put together and installed. All right. So I opened everything up, and this is what you get in the box for this back to toolbox. You have the toolbox itself that folds, and that's one of the things about this. It collapses in and in uh, amongst itself, if you will, against the uh, bulkhead or the, the front of the bed of the truck. So um, it, it allows you the full uh, use of your bed, and I'll demonstrate that once we get it uh, up and installed. You have the corner pieces here. Um, that bracket actually looks like it's bent a little bit. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think I can probably bend that back without uh, any issues. And it comes with four of these little L brackets, and they're stamped, uh, as you can see, maybe a C, A, B, and so on. Uh, you got some um, stove bolts or those little uh, Phillips head bolts, some tabs, and some lock nuts. And this is the sliding tray that goes across the top of the toolbox when it's open. The only tools it says that you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and an 11 32nd wrench. 
If you don't have an 11 32nd wrench, you can use a nine millimeter and that'll be just fine. So I'll be back in a minute when I get this thing uh, assembled. All right, so I have the hanging brackets installed. Let me try to give you a little bit of light here. Um, you can see that it, it fits inside the rail. There's a groove there. And then underneath, I don't know if you can see, but that uh, the back of that tab, it also grabs in there and holds that bracket, that end bookend bracket kind of in place. Okay, so there's the toolbox installed. It's not snug down yet. You have four screws with nuts on the end, the nine millimeter. And then of course you do the same on the other side. You screw that uh, clamp in, and then this will allow the uh, back box to firm up. Everything will come together. It's pretty flimsy right now. It's almost like those uh, cheap um, cardboard and entertainment centers you bought in college that they were uh, halfway cardboard and pressed wood and uh, you wondered how they were ever going to hold up but then once you got everything together and all the staples and nails and and whatnot it actually firmed up pretty good so that's similar to this it's it's kind of flexible right now but i'm going to go ahead and get these screws in snug everything up and then we'll get a final view of what it looks like all right, I'm back. Now, if that isn't a utility uh, truck right there with the step, uh, I don't know what is. But anyway, got everything buttoned back up, tightened down, and let's take a look and see what it looks like in the bed. Now, you can see I put a few items in there, some cleaning supplies, some uh, diesel additive, and paper towels. Um, overall, I like it. Now, for those of you who will comment it's not a real toolbox, I understand that. It's more of a, a junk box. You can put things, uh, jumper cables, straps, things like that, but it'll give you a place to stall, uh, store them. And uh, I really do miss my RAM boxes like I had in my RAM, but um, don't have that option. So this definitely will help. Uh, you can see the cover, the tunnel cover is flipped up. Now, if I were going to drive in this uh in this type of configuration you would put this rod up here loosen that thumb screw let it fall down and then tighten the thumb screw and then that would provide some rigidity uh, to make sure that the uh, backflip tonneau cover doesn't flop around or come back uh, into the bed now this uh tunnel or this toolbox this this back box the best thing about it is it actually folds up out of the way. So if you take everything out, and as long as you're not, you know, filling it up all the, you know, with a bunch of junk, but if you need the extra space, you simply take these hook and loop fasteners over there, and then it folds like that, and it actually folds up in itself and then gives you a lot more of your bed back and you can see it probably gives you another eight to ten inches of space when it folds against that bracket so that's pretty cool and you can get most of your bed back and to to redeploy it simply grab it lift up there pull it back and you have these hook and loop fasteners, which are kind of cheesy, but I'm not sure they could have done it any, any different way. But you secure it there, and it's a little flimsy, but it's not too bad. It's supposed to hold 250 pounds when evenly distributed, uh, when the weight's evenly distributed. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. It's more than I'll need, and it comes with a one-year warranty. So... That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you do want a tunnel cover or some type of accessory, see those guys at the uh, Tunnel Factory outlet. Uh, they really treated me well. Again, they aren't giving me anything for this. Um, uh, they didn't give me anything free for this. So, uh, but they really did provide a good, um, a good product and no sales tax. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. 
thanks for watching if you haven't uh done so already please subscribe brand new channel I'd love to get you as a, a subscriber i got plenty of content i'm planning on uh releasing soon and hopefully it'll be interesting if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave me a comment until then take care and god bless